I'm Dr. Gerald Chodek. So you've previously chosen to undergo HIFU therapy for your localized prostate cancer, and during the course of follow-up, your PSA has now begun to rise. What do you do about that? Well, first of all, understand that simply having a slowly rising PSA may not be very dangerous, that many men can live for the rest of their lives with a PSA that goes up very slowly. So there's no urgency to jump on this immediately. One of the things we want to know, how fast is it rising? And so we would tend to follow several PSA levels to get a pattern of the rate of change. Uh, another thing we'd like to know is how long has it been since your treatment? Because it may be that the further uh, in time that you've had the treatment, then the less likely it is to be harming you in, in the near future. So this is a controversial question that we're trying to figure out which patients do need to be aggressively treated and which patients do not. Now, if you decide that you are, your PSA is going up, it's still going up, you want to do something about it, the first thing we want to know is, are there cancer cells in the prostate? And so we'll recommend to you that you undergo another prostate biopsy because it's possible that the cancer cells that were in the prostate have been killed while cancer cells are in other parts of the body that originally started in the prostate gland. So a biopsy will help determine that. Now, if your biopsy is done and it shows cancer cells, in some cases we may get a bone scan or a CAT scan to see if it has spread. Unfortunately, if the PSA is less than 10, those tests are not very reliable for finding cancer cells that may be in other parts of the, of the prostate or other parts of the body. And so we have this situation where we think it's present in the prostate, we have no evidence it's anywhere else, what do you want to do about it? And really, all of the same options exist for you now as existed for, before you chose any therapy. Surgery, external radiation, seed implantation, cryosurgery, hormone therapy, watching it, just leaving it alone, or many people are saying, well, you could certainly do the HIFU again. In fact, that's one of the advantages. The HIFU can be done again, and the only problem, of course, is if it didn't work the first time, why should it work the second time? There's uncertainty about the value of HIFU long term, and so this is a question that is going to go on for some time. Can I sit here and tell you that any one treatment is better than another treatment? And the answer is no. There's no study that's been done comparing the different treatments for a rising PSA after HIFU to be able to say that one is clearly better than another. Surgery is the most aggressive treatment, but there's no evidence that the other treatments can't work just as well. So if you're now back in the situation of having to decide what to do, you can revisit all of the discussions and all of the pros and cons that have been laid out to you about each of those treatment options and then go through a process of deciding again what to do. The choice is no easier the second time around. Uh, my own personal opinion is I'm not sure that HIFU makes sense if it failed the first time. However, you may have a cancer that's not very life-threatening, and so HIFU is an option, even though there are no good long-term studies to, to know how well it controls cancer at 10 years after the treatment. So that's the bottom line on what to do at the present time. Keep it in mind, find out as much information as you can, and then weigh the pros and cons in order to make a decision. Thank you.